morning, good afternoon, guys. Back for another On Tap. Today's episode will be on Spider-Man No Way Home. As always, it's me, Sean. I'm joined by Mike, oh, wow. and Aaron, and our special guest once again from our WandaVision episode, Josh, will be joining us. Hi. We all got to watch the uh, movie yesterday, and now we're going to talk about it. And I just watched it again today. Yeah. I We've only seen it once. Mike has seen it twice now. Maybe he has some more insight on the movie. Yeah, I got a couple do. things later on we can talk about. It's a heck of a lot. I don't know if I'm going to remember all of <clears throat> So just as a preface, we're going to start with no spoilers, and there will be a very clear indication when we will be talking about spoilers. So yes. <laughs> if you don't know what this movie is about, basically the events of the end of Far From Home Spider-Man's identity is revealed to the entire world, and we pick up in this movie directly after those events where Peter Parker has to deal with the fact that everybody knows that he is Spider-Man, and he goes to Doctor Strange in order to get the entire world to forget that he is Peter Parker, Spider-Man, and he messes up with the spell causing a rift in the multiverse and characters that we have seen before being pulled into this universe. Yeah. I mean, that's that's basically the trailer. Yeah, that's that's the trailer. Um, Did you watch the trailer? <laughs> no, I haven't watched it yet. What are you doing here? <laughs> how, did you, how did you watch the Didn't movie? you watch the first one, though? I saw the first trailer. Okay, yeah. You just didn't see the, watch the second one. No. Yeah, so I, I saw Doc Ock and the Goblin. Those were the only two characters that I saw in the... Well, I guess, like, very briefly, Sandman and... Yeah, you saw the electricity and the sand. Yeah, but yeah. and the lizard, I guess. But other than that, yeah, because the lizard wasn't the first trailer. He was. I like, mean, you had to like frame by frame. Yeah, yeah. But there was something that tried to attack Peter. Yeah, and yeah. But yeah, so, um, it was great seeing those characters again. Uh, I never thought that you would we would be able to see. Alfred Molina as Doc Ock again, or Willem Dafoe as the Green Goblin, who, like, similarly to the Sam Raimi Spider-Man, basically stealed this entire movie. Oh, God. Well, he, like, like, all these characters, like, I feel like they are as good as they were in their respective movies, or they were improved upon. Mm Mm-hmm. With maybe the sole exception of the lizard, because they don't really do anything. Yeah, with they, they don't. We Nobody can, gives a fuck about yeah, the lizard, honestly. They made the lizard are just forgotten about. For, you know, I, mean, I would say even thing. Sandman has more of a presence than yeah than yeah. lizard even. Yeah, poor lizard. Um, I think the real lizard's just along for the ride, <laughs> pretty <laughs> much. Yeah, he kind of gets things started in a way, but. Uh, I think that the real meat of the movie is, like, MJ and Peter's relationship. Because, mm-hmm. like, obviously Peter's life is affected in a humongous way by the fact that everybody's like, you are Spider-Man now. And subsequently, uh, MJ and Ned's life are also severely impacted with that by virtue of just being associated with him by being his friends. So that's like a uh, personal struggle Peter has to go through. He's like, my friends' lives are being destroyed just because they know me. Yeah. And it's like, that's that's where like the whole conflict of the movie begins. Him like, if only I could just make this so nobody knows who I am anymore. You know, I watch enough review things you think I would know. But like, is it okay to talk about fight scenes? Mm. No? <laughs> I feel like I'd go... Like, I wasn't going to say anything specific. I was just going to say... I feel like it's going to be very difficult for us to talk about some of those fight scenes without giving away certain aspects. I'm trying to think what was shown in the trailers. Um, (laughs) The Doctor Strange... Very well choreographed. Yeah, they're... Yeah. Um, Doctor Strange... I guess I can get into what I specifically was thinking of. I I think a lot of the the fight scenes are fantastic. Um, And just... the. I don't know, the character building, basically, I think you kind of said something along the lines of this. The the characters are back, and they're just as good as they were, if not better. Mm-hmm. And e- even the ones like, even Dog Ock and Goblin, because mm-hmm. they're like the best that we, yeah. have, that we had. And even they are built upon. Yeah. They're very much enhanced in yeah. this movie. Yeah. 
Yeah, I mean, as soon as that first trailer dropped and they started to have, like, Willem Dafoe, you know, making his appearance, like, that's uh, one of the first... Everybody said that that wasn't Willem Dafoe's uh, voice in the first trailer. Well, they're morons. Yeah. <laughs> there was people saying wait, that, that wait. it was strange, and I'm like, wait, no, that no. is Willem Dafoe. Mm -hmm. Well, whenever no. he says, be careful what you wish, wish for, Peter, Parker, yeah, that's not... That no, is that, strange. Yeah, because I'm I talking about the, the where laugh? he's laughing, cackling. No, he he says he's definitely in the second one. Oh yeah, he's definitely in the second one. I think people I thought that. I think I'm in the wrong. first trailer because I know what you're talking about. I think people thought that that quote that Strange said was him mm -hmm. because they sort of modulated it, yeah, so you yeah. didn't know who it was. And I think people were alluding that it was him, but it wasn't. It Maybe was I'm just strange. mistaken. Which trailer was which? I don't know. It's whenever he says, Godspeed, Spider-Man. <laughs> Godspeed, Spider-Man. I love getting to watch him ham it up again for another movie. Just Willem Dafoe just, like, taking that role and just crushing it for the second time. Just Again, I don't, I don't know, like, how far people take stuff. I would say Willem Dafoe almost kind of, from the villain side, he completely steals the movie. Oh, yeah. And, I, I mean, there was that, like, thing, I don't know any of you guys saw it i know you did but like a week ago ign or somebody posted a thing that was like official that they said green goblin will be the main protagonist in no way home mm. and i was like man, sweet or, yeah Maybe. no 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 he's the protagonist <laughs> he's a good guy are you kidding me no it's like all the people who love the joker <laughs> yeah <laughs> they relate more with the green sorry goblin. i was having a joker moment uh which i can understand the viewpoint but i don't agree with at all because all of the villains have more than enough, like, of their own screen time to flesh themselves out as characters, f like, piggybacking off of other movies and just, like, in this own movie. Like, uh, I was talking with Aaron about it earlier. They did an amazing job at shoving, like, six, seven characters into this movie and making it feel like, they were all deservedly in the movie. Yeah. Unlike no Spider Man three. Syndrome. Yeah. Unlike There's... Spider Man or three. Amazing Spider -Man or two. Amazing Spider Man two, <laughs> where yeah. uh, well, Venom yeah. seems tacked on, or yeah. the Amazing Spider Man two, uh, where uh, Harry is just tacked on. Yeah. That but makes... this one, it's like there is a purpose for them all being here, and uh, like they they are all earned. Like their presence in the movie is all earned. Yeah. Which is incredible honestly yeah, yeah that's that's yeah. one thing marvel knows how to do is utilize have, characters have free yeah. the ensemble well, characters. Well, and that's that's the thing what speaks for marvel studios is like i didn't even worry about that until we were sitting in the movie and i was like what if it what if there's too much yeah like i didn't think about that at all like when the trailers came out because i was like oh it's marvel studios this is gonna be awesome yeah because they they're formulaic in their planning so they know what they're doing yeah and like i didn't even think of that until i was watching the movie and i was like oh shit what if this is too much like, <laughs> i think i uh i said the shot or uh, to sean i was like I bet Shang Chi is gonna be the best Marvel movie this year, and that was my reasoning behind it. I was like, they're gonna stuff too many people into this movie, and then it's gonna have the same type of Spider Man three Amazing Spider Man effect. But no, it, it was very nice, well yeah. balanced. Yeah, it is extremely well balanced. Like even Doctor Strange is is like works amazingly in the movie. Yeah, uh, yeah. he's he's great, really. Um... I was really on his side for most of the movie, <laughs> despite the fact that he's obviously, like, he's not, he's antithetical to what Spider-Man wants to achieve, and, uh... He, he's thinking bigger picture. Yeah, yeah, and, uh, and Doctor Strange is just like, this is just how it is, so, like, th we gotta get things back to the way they are, restore order... It's also kind of him trying to cover up a fuck, a major fuck up that he created, yeah. so that nobody else or none of the other wizards are like, hmm, "What the fuck is this? Why are you doing Excuse this?" Excuse me, what fuckery is this? <laughs> yeah, I uh, I felt like Zondaya finally got to like, oh yeah, really act in this one. She was just kind of, you know, I wouldn't say what's what's one of what I'm looking for here. She, she acted more than she did in Dune. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I mean, she wasn't in Dune a ton, but. I don't know, she got the chance to, like, flex her, her acting skills mm. in comparison to the other movies where she was just kind of quiet or, like, in the background. Or... Yeah. Um, I think what makes that more apparent is 
the the range that the movie has. Yeah, it, it's not just a lighthearted Spider-Man movie. Oh, yeah, it is no, really it's, dark. It's, it's super dark. When they said it was dark, it it is it is dark. They weren't lying. So I, I think that that's what made them be able to all of them, Tom Holland, yeah. everybody, uh, to oh my play. God. they all got Tom the Holland is excellent in this movie. Yeah, like Tom Holland and uh, Willem Dafoe, just like. Obviously, I don't think this is going to get nominated for any Oscars or anything, but no. their performances are, like, amazing. Yes. Honestly, like, uh, the the combativeness between the two of them is, like, I, I don't know, it, it, it's like Batman and Joker. Like, Almost, they, they, yeah. they pair, like, I said to Sean earlier, like, they're... Uh, I I remember there people were talking about they're like oh when are they gonna like throw Doc Ock or Green Goblin in here and I feel like they were like hey let's do that but let's bring back the only guy who could possibly kill this role yeah mm -hmm. and they're like you know just bring him back uh, like I I wonder if the multiverse thing wasn't written in as a way to like do that because yeah. this is one this is one movie that wasn't based on any arc. Oh yeah, this comics, is like the comics. This is just completely their own. That's thing. what I was thinking in my in my second viewing. I was like, "This is somebody's awesome pipe dream." Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah th th this is like their fan fiction. Like, yeah, this has never been. This is never part of the comics. No. So it's kind of like, oh wow. Like, I mean, clearly we've just... had things similar into the Spider Verse where, you know, yeah, things crossover but and i mean that they do that in the comics too but there's never been like exactly like this yeah yeah pretty much every other story that marvel has made up until now has been at least based upon an existing comic right yeah there's, there's but this something. one is just like off the top yeah like those writers who does which is just incredible yeah. Yeah. yeah was it the same writers from the uh previous movies yeah i don't I, oh, okay. yeah i i don't know their names <laughs> yeah but yeah <laughs> I did hear somebody saying Bill Lord and Chris Miller. Nope, nope. That ain't them. The outs right now. Yeah, I, I, I don't have much more to say other than it's great. Yeah, uh, as far I mean, as if you're, if you're watching the movie, you're or if you're watching this video, you're either going to see the movie soon or have already seen the movie already. So, I think that it's fair game for us to clearly, very expressively jump into spoilers now you have been warned now that we're in spoilers territory i was going i'll bring up the one thing that i had issue with in the movie where i was like it worked for me on levels but it didn't for me on other levels so uh peter takes all of the villains after he's captured them and he takes them to like basically a lab to try and cure them because they've all come under the assumption oh i was pulled from my timeline right before i was about to die if you send me back to my timeline right now i'm just gonna die so don't do that and obviously peter has a compassionate heart he doesn't want these people to die mm -hmm. like no matter what and he, he doesn't know them. yeah yes. and uh so he takes them and he tries and cures them ultimately resulting in aunt may's death and she basically just parrots, like, what Uncle Ben has said to him in every other iteration. And I was like, Uncle Ben is already dead in this universe. Yeah. yeah. So, well, like... Was Uncle Ben ever actually Uncle in? Ben. Yeah, I'm, yeah, I'm wondering... Because... I guess they've never really expressly... She just was the Uncle Ben yeah. character. So, yeah. like, I was like... I took issue with it at first because I was like... If this already happened though to him, right? Like, no, must not. And, and see, that's where like that I didn't have an issue. Have been, yeah, because I, I was like, Uncle Ben's never mentioned. He's never even alluded to. It's just no, been they mentioned him. Did they? Yeah, I, I think in the first one they, or I'm pretty sure it's it, it might be in Civil War. War because, Civil War because uh, I think that Tony is being a creep and asks why Aunt May's single and. She says about how Ben passed. Yeah, it is mentioned. It's very brief. Maybe he passed before, like, anything. Like, yeah. Before but, he blew but, but, oh, yeah. yeah. Like that. To, to the core of my argument here, in Captain America Civil War, Peter basically says a juvenile version of with great power comes great responsibility wow. because Tony asks them, like, why are you doing this? Like, yeah. you, like, you have the powers. Yeah, cool. Why are you doing this? You're a kid. And he's like, well... Whenever you have the power to do something, and then the bad things happen, like, you're responsible for that. 
So, like, he already had that as a core value of his character. Right. And then, in, in this one, it's just like, it didn't, it wouldn't have needed Aunt May dying for him to, like, solidify that into him, you or, know? Or was it just a reminder? Like, something that he forgot along the way? Like, 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 was it said because he already fucked up by going to see Doctor Strange and then casting the spell and fucking it all up? So, did she say it as a reminder to like spark that back into his like yeah, back into his like life going forward? Like, and aside oh, from shit, that, yeah, I fucked up again because I was trying to do something. The reason it works for me is there was a couple things. Uh, uh, Toby and Andrew are in this if. You know, you didn't know that. <laughs> Spoilers, whatever. You know, we're at that point. If you're here, you know that. Anyway, like when they first come on screen, uh, Andrew says, um, you know, it'd be stupid to to wear, what was the line? To wear the mat, uh, to bring his ID around with Yeah, his ID. Yeah. That would be counter, yeah. counter, try to throw attention to it. Or right. Yeah. Um, and then Toby says like the same thing, so they're kind of they're putting it out there that things happen the same way here and there, almost like like a nexus point. Almost nexus yeah. points. Um, so I think that's why she says that. It's because that just has because to it, yeah, that. it like has to happen to Peter. Yeah, it, I mean, I guess, but it, it I just feel like it doesn't. Uh, contribute anything to the character that hasn't already been expressly stated by yeah. Peter already. I mean, I, I, I get where you're coming from, but it also it, it has to be in there because it hits home more when obviously she dies. Yeah. Uh, that was shocking, I must say. I wasn't, ex like, sh uh, so there was an insane fight scene between the goblin and uh Yeah, Suplex yeah. fucking city where yeah, he's like nuts. ramming him through like floors of a building. Since you brought it up, that is my favorite fight scene and it movie. was incredible. That fight scene was amazing. Yeah, yeah. Like like Peter is on top of him, uh ready yeah. to be power bombed. It I mean it's a straight power bomb. He just yeah, power through bombs the floor. through the floor. <laughs> through multiple floors. And then the next one is the a pure spine buster mm -hmm. for all the wrestling fans out there, like through like what was it like five yeah, floors? Yeah. yeah, like I must say, I am so happy that they were they. So obviously, in the original Sam Raimi version, Harry, uh, Norman Osborn takes the like serum that enhances him physically as well as giving him the goblinitis mm -hmm. disease. <laughs> goblinitis. <laughs> but uh, so I, but you never really. They never really showed his strength, like in the movie. Not but in happen. this, yeah. like in this movie, it's like, oh, he is a strong motherfucker and will ruin your day. Like he is. It's yeah. like this is a basically a super soldier, and that I, was so excellent to watch. Yes, he slung his uh his partner across the lab. In the oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, well, yeah. grab back to formula. <laughs> back to formula. <laughs> that, okay, that would be like the only. Like that is really the only one. Yeah, yeah, like, but like he well, like he had Peter by the legs and like oh yeah, like flung like, him into a yeah. wall. Yeah, like it was like oh, if you didn't know that already, it's like well that dude is strong. Yeah. Oh, that scene of uh, Peter just like wailing on him, pa 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 pa, and he's just la laughing and smiling at him the whole yeah. time with the that shit was awesome. his fucking rubber face just. <laughs> what, 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 what did I see? There was something about, or did you say it today? Where it said it took it took these motherfuckers twenty years to finally realize they didn't have to put a mask on the guy <laughs> whose face looks like this. And I was like, and I mentioned it to you too. I was like, I was like, yeah. I was like, he looked way fucking cooler with the purple oh, yeah. hood. And just his face with like the goggles, I was like, "That's the fucking Green Goblin." I, I mean, was like, that, "That is, that is it. That's peak right there." That was a shocking scene in itself. So obviously, we mentioned all of the previous people that previous villains from other films get drawn in this universe. Uh, Peter fights Doc Ock the first encounter, and then he briefly sees Goblin before getting pulled into the Sanctum Sanctorum, where Doctor Strange is like, 
yeah, you got to capture these guys. Uh, here's how you do it. But then after that scene, it cuts to Willem Dafoe, uh, Norman in like an alleyway doing and, a Spider-Man No More. Yeah, thing. and uh, so like uh, this touches onto something of his character that I really love. But mm. he's basically like, which I loved in the first movie too. I'm glad. I feel like they built upon it a lot heavier in this one. Where Norman is literally held captive by his alter ego. Yeah. Like, he doesn't want to do these things. <laughs> Dr. Jekyll, Mr. Hyde. Yeah. And, and to the point, I did I turn to you? Maybe I turned to you. I can't remember who I turned to. But I was like, he's fucking with us. <laughs> mm-hmm. Oh, no. I, I could definitely tell that he was. But, but... I don't. But he actually. But he's seeing he's stealing the donuts while they're talking. That yeah. was just like one of the first very like it was a silly indicator, but it was an indicator. Yeah. That well, he, no, well, I I honestly don't think I don't was. think he was fucking with us. I think that like at that point, uh, I'll get into it. But to my point earlier, whenever uh, Norman smashes his mask, basically like I'm severing this connection with the Goblin. I do not want to be associated yeah. with you anymore. I was like. Oh my god! Yeah. It was like, basically such an Spider-Man iconic too. like well, image, well, yeah. and he's just like crushes it that was that was bold that was a bold choice <laughs> and and like to your point he does look so much more menacing with just like without his a face. Mask. yeah like his his costume in this is excellent yeah mm-hmm. it's so good honestly it might be the best design ever used for the green goblin in like any cinematic like yeah like you, you're never gonna top that but um yeah so i i agree with mike i don't think i think that norman was in control for the majority of the time like Whenever he was, he like, he deliberately seeks out help. I think that that was him. Yeah. He's like, I saw Spider-Man. I thought he could help me. You're not Spider-Man. Yeah. And then it's like, oh, you're taken into this universe. And uh, he gets trapped with all the other guys. And he's like, I, I, I want to try and cure you guys. Which I think that that scene was great whenever it's like um, Norman confronts uh, Otto. And, he's, and Otto's like... You died like four years ago. Yeah, and and they recognize each other yeah, because they're yeah. from the same exact universe. Yeah. like he's like Which Osborne. Yeah, and then they like and they then talk uh, to each other. Uh, like a Sandman, thing. I forget. I'm forgetting Flint his name. Marco. Yeah, Flint Marco. He's like they're both dead. It's like they mm. both died fighting Spider Man. Yeah, and then they're like, oh, <laughs> <laughs> like shit. Yeah, because then Electra is like, oh, he's and like, like I was fighting Spider Man. He's like, oh shit, I was about to die. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, and then he, they're talking about, like, Lizard, and nobody gave a fuck yeah. about Lizard. That, that, that's the one thing that didn't make sense to me. Liz, Liz, Lizard like, actually asked, did I die, and like, he didn't get an answer. Like, yeah. you, like uh, uh, Dylan, do you know, do I die? And he's the only one, the only villain that hadn't died. Well, I guess Flint Marco, too. Yeah. But, like, he's the only villain that, he like, he was literally apprehended. Yeah, he was just in jail. Yeah. yeah. So, I, I think that's kind of funny how they're, like, pulled out of different times Mm -hmm. in the universes too because that's even like touched on whenever uh toby and andrew show up because it's like (laughs) they just like didn't even bother like (laughs) toby's like obviously like 20 years older yeah yeah. toby's just like hey i'm old yeah (laughs) and uh, and, fucking deal with it andrew Andrew garfield doesn't age i age andrew garfield's like specifically said it's like yeah like i didn't save gwen like he he's lived past that already yeah he's like I became bitter and like rageful, mm-hmm. and I don't want that to happen to you, Peter. Yeah. Uh, so like, those Spider Men have lived their lives past the point mm-hmm. that we've seen them in the films, but like the villains are just like plucked directly out before they're about to die. Probably because that's just their last point of yeah yeah of, yeah. of existence of on the existence. timeline. Yeah. yeah. Well, with the exception of Doctor Connors, but yeah. which is strange. Does that mean that uh, that's strange? <laughs> um, so if Goblin, because he doesn't say like where he like when he was pulled out, mm-hmm. like Ock knows when he was pulled out. Everyone else knows when they were pulled out. Goblin doesn't know or doesn't say. So like, well, that's because Norman was in control well, yeah. at that point because he's yeah. like, I was just like being myself, and then I was in this world because obviously he loses vast amounts of time whenever the goblin takes over so mm-hmm. like he the goblin probably knew when he got pulled out but yeah. he never said anything about it could, could you just imagine like if it was the point before he gets impaled and he's like godspeed spider-man he just, goes, <laughs> he just like vanishes and peter's like what <laughs> the fuck you know i don't think i don't think if he got pulled from that moment that like right peter would down. peter peter wouldn't know yeah wibbly wobbly timey wimey stuff yeah. but uh 
Yeah. Um, yeah, so Lizard makes no sense because he's not dead. So yeah. I don't know. What I'm not really doing. sure what that was about. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Probably because they didn't want to bring a, another goblin in. Well, or that's... Paul Giamatti. <laughs> Maybe, yeah. Because that had just been fucking stupid. All right, so one thing I can bring up now uh, is... Uh, so Lizard was clearly not the actor. Oh, yeah. yeah. No. Um. Because they, they literally used footage. They, yeah, they used two scenes when, when he, from The yeah. Amazing Spider-Man when he turned yeah. back into... I mean, he's credited yeah. like, on IMDb. Well, yeah, he would have to. Like, yeah, because yeah, you're yeah. using a scene. But, like, they... they care, I don't want to say carelessly. They Princess Leia Rise of skywalker him in. Yeah. Because yeah. it was clearly footage you had seen before. Because, like, it was that one scene where he turns back, yeah. and they had just, like, edited out his hand that was, like, crumbling, because we just recently watched mm. these. Yeah. And I was like, that's the same exact scene. Oh, yeah. I was like, it's literally the same exact thing. Yeah, if you went into it and watched it recently, you're going to pick up on it. Yeah. That, really. Just watching it, you're like, yeah, yeah. that's yeah. definitely it. Uh, and the voice was different, too. Yeah, it was. I, I could tell with that. So, my next thing is, clearly they got Sandman in. Yes. Thomas Hayden Church. He couldn't have been in it long, though. But when he turns back, I think those are shots of him, too. Yeah, th those are, that's new stuff. But Is it new stuff? Yes, yeah. Because yeah. I thought it looked like old stuff. No, he, Thomas Hayden Church hasn't really, like, aged. Okay. Yeah, like, he, he's a good-looking guy. <laughs> he, he, yeah, he doesn't really, like, age. And especially since he was older when he did Spider-Man yeah. 3. Yeah. Like, he, he wouldn't, like, have aged, like, significantly. I just, I just think when he's turned back into human form... But it looks like so, shots from that. That's I mean, a, they that's probably a, could have like CGI, like cleaned him up a little bit. Yeah, like, or their makeup like, artist just went to town. Exactly. Yeah. So that's an interesting thing, though. So in Spider-Man Three, Sandman has no issue just like being human. Well, that's what I'm saying. Like mm -hmm. if he if he was, maybe he just wasn't on set. That that's my thought. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, because I forget who I mentioned been, it like, too. Like a couple days yeah, because I was thinking I'm like he was sand most of the time. I'm guessing it was just dude most so, cat suit. And so they, they just did ADR. They lot. cured him, but like, did he? He didn't really need cured. Like he just needed to be sent home. Like that's well, all he wanted was well, to they, just be sent he home. He just needed to be like neutralized. Yeah, yeah you're, you're really just like taking the bullet of a meta metaphorical gun here by not or giving his, or taking away his powers. I guess. Yeah, yeah. I, I really liked uh, most of the scenes. Obviously, the scenes of them interacting, the characters from the other movies interacting with each other. Hmm. But also, like, whenever Sandman is like, Peter, it's me. And he's like, I'm not your Peter, but help me out. And then uh, he's like, well, I don't trust you. It's like, yeah. I don't trust anybody. Yeah, yeah that was very odd. I, yeah. That was, I didn't like that sudden That turn. was super abrupt. Yeah. I mean, I guess it's because he's like, what did you just do to him? Yeah. I, I guess. He, he, like, shot him with something and he disappeared. Right. So it's like, like did you just kill that guy? Yeah. <laughs> so I, I guess I get it, but it was just, it was just like, what the hell? <laughs> but And then, uh, obviously, uh, Toby was the one that, like, cured him. And he's like, he takes his mask off and he's like, yeah, good job, buddy. <laughs> he's like, just stay right here. You'll be fine. I thought uh, Andrew Garfield got the most. Uh, he got the best scenes. I think so too. Out of oh yeah, like the th well, not the three Spider Man. Obviously, it's Tom Holland's movie, but between him and Tobey Maguire, Tobey Maguire kind of took like a backseat role and let uh, Toby or uh, let Toby. Uh, Jesus Christ, uh, <laughs> let Andrew Gar. There's so many Spider Man. I don't know which one I'm talking about. Uh, he let Andrew Garfield and uh, Tom Holland really flex it because you really got to see the. The Andrew Garfield finally complete his arc of finally getting to save the the damsel in distress by catching Mary Jane before she. That died. was one of my favorite scenes. Of yeah, the that movie. was a really good scene. Cause uh, yeah. yeah, MJ gets like blown off a scaffold thing, and uh, Tom Peter goes to like save her. Tom, Tom Peter. Tom Peter. And then Peter. He gets Andrew hit by Peter. <laughs> Peter. <laughs> he gets hit by the glider, and then like Andrew Garfield without a second just like down to, like, the saver, and whenever he, like, finally got her, like, like the way that he was crying... That was, was like, such a nice scene. Yeah. Like, yeah. there's multiple that, that, times that, that where you could me. just get, like, tearful in this movie, and then yeah. that was definitely... Yeah, he's, like, it's just... he's, he's basically like, are you okay? He's like, he's like, I finally was able to save yeah. someone. No, yeah, he, he was able to have that closure because like, well, I he, think he was, he was able to, to it, redeem himself. It, it was that, and I think it was, like, 
Which people called that in the trailer, by the way. Oh, yeah. When yeah, they fell, did. everybody was like, oh, this is going to be Andrew Garfield's redemption. Yeah. Something's going to happen that Tom's not going to be. I don't know how people knew that. I kind of, like, agreed with it, because I was, like, the way she fell, like, in slow motion, I was, like, she's it, falling just like wind. It, it does look very reminiscent. Yeah. Um, and Kirsten Dunst, when uh, yeah. Goblin lets mm-hmm. go of her and the uh, the rail car. Yeah, it's, it's all, like, paying homage to yeah. the yeah. one before it. The only thing that wasn't in this movie was a Bruce Campbell cameo. <laughs> oh, man, it's yeah. It's upsetting. Yeah, it'll be in uh, Doctor Strange. Uh, Probably because yeah. it's a rainy movie. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> you know about that? I mean, maybe. I forget what I was going to say with Andrew. Oh, I think he was so upset because not only because he finally was able to achieve that, but it was just too similar. He's like, oh my god, like almost had like a PTSD kind yeah. of thing. Um. So let's talk about uh, the third act. Let's talk about one of the most incredible looking scenes ever where they're coordinating their attack Mm -hmm. and all three of them are web slinging around and land on the top of the Statue of Liberty with that fucking iconic Uh, shot of all three of them. Absolutely. I was like, oh my God. Like, I just want to say that this this still doesn't feel real to me. I know. Yeah. This feels like a dream. Like I watch something and I'm like, that's epic. And then I woke up and I'm like, that wasn't real. Right. Like, it just, like, I was telling Sean earlier, when Doc Ock was fighting Peter and you, like, heard his theme music, I went back to being, like, fucking 10 years old in the movie theater with my dad watching Spider-Man 2. Mm-hmm. Like, I was just like, I had the same reaction watching this movie that I did when The Force Awakens came out in 2015. Oh, yeah. Like, it was like going back in and experiencing that all over again. Yeah. Um, yeah, I, I feel like uh, a void has been filled. Like, ever since they canceled Spider-Man 4. Yeah. Like... We, we, we got closure. There's been a, oh, there's yeah. been a void. Our generation got fucking closure on this shit. Yeah. They both just got, like, solid closure to, like, stuff that had been... Like, yeah. I didn't know I needed so much closure with Andrew, though. I, I know, I, right? I, I felt... But it I felt, felt fucking good. great. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, because, like, I didn't, like... I mean, I liked Andrew Garfield's I movies. Andrew Garfield. Yeah, yeah. I, I really like. He's the first a terribly one. underrated Spider-Man. Oh no, he's great as Spider-Man. Yeah. I love the first one, but like, yeah, like you said, I didn't realize that I needed that like closure with him. Yeah, and to see his character kind of like heal himself, mm-hmm. like by being in this universe and talking with the other Spider-Men. Just the uh, the scenes where they're like talking to each other, like not just like like all three of them talking to each other. Like whenever they're like, so, so like, what's the craziest thing that you fought? And it's like, oh, I, I fought an alien like from space. And it's like, oh yeah, I fought an alien in space. And, and Andrew's just like, oh man, I'm so lame. We're gonna, you know, I, I fought a guy in a rhino suit. Yeah. <laughs> and it's like, no. And then they're like reassuring each other because they're the same guy. Yeah. They're reassuring each other. It's like, no, you're not lame. You're amazing. It's like, say it, say it, say you're amazing. <laughs> and they're just like, oh, come on, guys. <laughs> like, those scenes are, like, awesome. Uh, like, in how many instances has that occurred in other movies where just, like, it'd be kind of like having a bunch of James Bonds all together come into one movie they're, they're, and just, like, do all the Bondisms, you know? Only it's, it's, just like, it's like those episodes of Doctor Who where, like, like yeah. all the doctors yeah. show up. I was going to say, there's only one one thing you can even reference in that, and that's, Doctor Who, they've done it several times. Yeah, which like I guess I guess it goes without saying. Like, if you didn't think that they were gonna be in this movie, it was kind of like. I mean, it's yeah. been a rumor for over a year. Yeah, over right. a year now. And... But uh, you know, props to Andrew Garfield. Yeah, he ran. for playing oh, that God. shit to a T. Where he's like, "Nah, sorry guys. Like, I he... wish I was. I really wish that I was." He but ran I'm defense not. incredibly. Oh my God! Yeah. <laughs> so, so that's he was imagine. almost believable. I mean, there was, like, clear HD footage of him in the movie, like, a year ago. Yeah. And then everybody was like, well, maybe it's deep fake, you and, know? Like, he somebody, really sold it. Somebody and they, claimed to, to have, like, debunked that clip. And yeah. clearly... You yeah, because we were sitting there, and I went, look, there it is. Yeah, yeah. Like, he was sitting there, and he's like, whoa. Like, and I was like, mm. there it is. That's the exact same footage. 
Yep. Except for the other blue screen. <laughs> Andrew Garfield could win an, uh, an Oscar simply for that performance alone was misdirecting all the yeah. fans away. It's better. <laughs> like, <laughs> As I like to say, you're not fooling anyone. You're not... <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so, so let's imagine, if you will, humor me, a world where none of that got leaked. And, like, let's, like, I, I, I fully believe that, um, they wanted to make the movie without even, like, Alfred Molina. Oh, yeah. Like, they never wanted like, that. Like, let's imagine a world where none of that happened. And, like, some, like, I think this movie would be, like, just, like, even bigger than what it already mm. what is yeah. now. But, but you know what? None of that detracted from my experience. Oh, no, no you're right. No, I, I, no. I really don't feel like any of the leaks or anything, and we saw the Campia pictures, yeah, which turned right. out to both be real. Yeah. <laughs> like, we saw both of those, and that still didn't detract from my experience at all. Like, that movie is still just, like, whoa. So I, I probably, I don't know this, but I think I probably saw the biggest spoiler, which was Aunt May Die. Cause I, yeah, that's the sound- you, you said that was from the soundtrack. The soundtrack, the soundtrack spoil shit all the oh, fucking yeah. time. Yeah. Which I said that to Sean. They're like the track listings, like the track name is literally Aunt May's Death. What the- no shit. That is fucking what? stupid. Legit. I wow. Yeah. That's so. I mean, stupid. I was pretty sure somebody was on the shopping block when Peter said in the one trailer, he's like, I have no reason to be in this universe anymore. Somebody was going. It was Happy. It was it was uh, Aunt May. It was Zondaya as as. Uh, Mary Jane or Ned, somebody was dying, and uh, like as more and more time as she's like running down the stairs and stuff, I was like, oh, it's May. May's dying. It, this yeah. is it. Yeah, and then she gets hit by the glider, and I was like, oh. I mean, and that was brutal looking too. Yeah, yeah. And she gets back up. I was like, you have hope. I, yeah, what? I, I really thought they were gonna kill her. Yeah, I thought she was okay. And then whenever she's just like. Yeah, I just need to catch my breath. She kept saying that. I was like, is she gonna fucking die? And then she just, like, falls over. I'm like, oh, she's And then die. Peter, like, takes his hand out from behind her. There's, like, blood all blood, over yeah. it. Yeah. yeah. It's like, oh, my God. When she got hit by that, and then she started to act okay at first, I was like, what the... There's no way anybody would live through that shit. She'd have a broken-ass back. She got hit hard. Yeah. Like, and she, I, I mean, there's the also... Yeah, yeah, there's also a very sharp object uh-huh. on his glider, so... Speaking <laughs> of sharp objects, like... I, I understand why they did it, but it didn't have, like, any real, like, meaning with Toby being, being stabbed dead. by Goblin. Because then he's, he's like, you okay? And he's like, oh, yeah, I've been stabbed plenty of times. And I'm like, well, yeah, I was like, yeah. they, they weren't going to fucking kill him. I thought like, they were for a second. I did, too. And I was like, they wouldn't do that. I was like, there's no fucking way they would do that. Yeah. Question for the, the table. Say, give it a couple of years from now, they announce a Toby Maguire Disney Plus series. Oh, I'd watch the shit out of it. I don't know. Everybody yeah. on YouTube, uh, specifically Campia, because I watch him primarily, uh, he's like, there's no way they'll ever do anything with the other Spider-Man. I'm not kidding. And I'm like, there's, you can't tell me they aren't thinking about it. Oh, yeah. I you mean... can't tell me that they're not going, yes, I would love to fucking do that. Right. I don't, I, I honestly don't know if Tobey Maguire would want that, to do that. That's the only that's thing. the biggest issue. Yeah. That's, that's the I, only thing. I'm sure that Andrew Garfield would want to do it more. Absolutely. But, but, yeah, I don't know. I, I feel like it works spectacularly in this. I'm not sure how I would want to see it used more. Like, obviously, I want to see more of them, because they're amazing. Yeah. But I, I just don't know... How it would work if Thank they decide to Thank you for using spectacular forward. anime. As well. <laughs> <laughs> well, I forgot. We all we forgot. Uh, can you use friendly neighborhood somewhere? In there? No, I don't. I don't think I can organically work that in. Uh, we forgot to talk about earlier in the film uh, with Matt Murdock's appearance. Yeah, which was like, oh, I kind yeah. of brushed upon that when yeah. we were talking about the Campia leaks, yeah, the pictures, right, right, because Charlie Cox was sitting at the table with the Happy yeah. in them. Uh, I mean, I he just comes out of nowhere. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> are, we, are we allowed to spoil Hawkeye yet? What, what's the, the protocol on that? Yeah. I, oh, I'm it's a TV caught. show. Like I'm they all spoil it. it. Okay. It, it doesn't matter really. No. Uh, you you know what's yeah. happening. Kids, if you were watching, you knew what was going on. Yeah. Um, but yeah, so it's great to see. I I mean, Charlie Cox's Daredevil is excellent. I want oh, I want to see more yeah. of it. And Vincent D'Onofrio, obviously, is Pink mm-hmm. Ben, excellent. So. uh them under the official banner of Marvel MCU. I can't wait to see what they're yeah. done. So I, I wonder. The movie, do you think, or do they just probably they redo the, the series? Yeah. So the well, not redo the series. Oh, a rumor that I heard, um, 
the character Echo is supposed to have her own show. The rumor is that that's just a working title, and that's mm-hmm. going to be the Daredevil show. That's the rumor I heard. I don't know. I don't know anybody. Yeah, I could see it happening. Yeah. But, I mean, uh, I could see the. Why the hell would together. we? Why the hell would we need an Echo show? Yeah. I mean, uh, I I feel like she's. Uh, I mean. This is diving into Hawkeye TV show at this point, but she's yeah. obviously being set up to like leave the organization and want to hunt down Wilson Fisk. Yeah. So yeah. like, if the Echo TV show, it's like it would be a blind guy and a deaf person martial artist hunting down Wilson Fisk. True, I love it. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Uh, but yeah, I I, I love How do the they scene. communicate. Nah, okay. <laughs> I love I love the scene where uh, he's like. You are, like, legally okay, but n- now you're going to have to deal with the court of opinion. And a brick comes flying That's, in the yeah. uh, window, and you just, like, <laughs> he just catches it. Oh. <laughs> How did you do that? I'm a really good lawyer. <laughs> <laughs> now, I wonder if he did that because he knows that he's Spider-Man, so. Uh, I mean, he, he, yeah. Like, there's no... Well, I know he knows, but, like, like... Why would he accept yeah, yeah. himself? I mean, yeah, it doesn't. That's what I mean, uh, he probably doesn't care because he's like, yeah, he's Spider Man. It's like, yeah. Oh, you're Spider Man. Can you guess who I am? Catch his brain. <laughs> yeah, but anyway. my uh, my nine year old self was kind of freaking out with that scene because it just makes me think of the PS One Spider Man game mm. where like Daredevil's in it, everybody's in it. You know, oh, Captain yeah. America shows up at the end. Does Ben Affleck reprise his role as no? Him? That was a big rumor going into this. Not lying. Ben Affleck gains four hundred pounds to play Wilson. <laughs> you know, I, I he look, could do it. He, I looked okay. it up today. I guess this is off topic, but I was like, "How old is Toby Maguire?" He's like forty six. Ben Affleck is forty nine, and he's probably going to do at least a little bit more Batman. So, like, if they really want, I don't know. I'm really on the Toby Maguire as Spider Man again. I, I I'm an old yeah, boomer at this Spider-Man. point, and I'm just like grew up with Toby Maguire Spider Man. Yeah. So I'm like, give me more of that that comfort Spider Man content, please. Like, and, and as much as this did, did fill that void that I spoke of, there is still slight. I want more. There's a slight yeah. void of like. <laughs> Peter needs to end up with Mary Jane. I mean, he basically confirms that. But he's never complicated. Yeah, yeah. He, he says we make it. We made it work. Is yeah. what he says. I think that's the biggest reason why I want to see it. Is I want to see where their relationship is because we went back and uh, we watched um, all those older Spider Men, and like watching it now as an adult, I was like, wow, he kind of treats her like a piece of garbage. He's an Tell entire me, set Tell of me the Peter Parker is a. Asshole. Yeah, Mary man. Jane is just like, I don't know. It's so, I, I feel wonder, bad for her character. Yeah, I it's wonder if it's not just yeah. because he's like a genius and like not self aware of the way that he's acting. Hmm. Like, and not, like, not having that self awareness that he's being an asshole. Right. Like, and he's trying to juggle all this shit and he's like, uh, yeah, whatever. <laughs> That's why I like going I mean, back and watching it's movies. Just like, yeah, you you really see stuff from a whole new perspective because, like, Kid Me was like, oh, yeah, I mean, what, what's her problem? Now I'm like, what the. What, what's Peter's problem? <laughs> He's struggling. Yeah, he is. He's... Why is Mary Jane such a bitch? Oh, wait. Oh, wait. Peter, Peter's just that what, is, what are you saying? Yeah. Why did you punch her? Yeah, Jesus Christ. Why did you backhand her? <laughs> um, and then, then you go to the bathroom or look in the mirror and go and pull your hair down across your <laughs> eye. Like, why, why, why are you dancing like that? Toby? That was a symbiote, okay? <laughs> that is one thing I'm surprised they didn't just, like, jokingly address. Oh, like, yeah. Like, they all start dancing. Yeah. <laughs> so, so speaking that of should that, have been a post credit scene. Yeah. So, speaking of that, there was a fair bit of fan service in the movie. Yeah, with a lot. With, like, the in-jokes, like, the literal memes. Oh, yeah. Like, like Willem Dafoe being like, yeah, I'm somewhat like of a scientist, scientist myself. myself. And, like, whenever they're gearing up for the final battle, uh, Toby's like, oh, my back. Yeah. <laughs> you know? That like, was it's great. Like, it's like, oh, fantastic. this was, like, written by people that know memes. <laughs> yeah. Well, it, you know, I guess every, we were talking about it earlier, how, like, Hint A hit, you know, Peter with the great power comes great responsibility. Ultimately... That's just fan service. Yeah, yeah, it is. oh yeah, that's because because at that point, at that point when they both showed up, like or we at least knew they were going to show up. It's like okay, give us give us all of it, please give us all of the nostalgia. We need 
eat it. <laughs> that line is incredible to me. It reminds me of how uh, in Lord of the Rings, how the a wizard is never late nor early. He precise, arrived precisely when he means to. That was never in the actual book. Yeah. That was written for the movie, and it's just, I don't know similar and to how. I mean, it just that... take you know, grew legs of its own. Yes. Well, well it, it's profound. Well, like, yeah. oh, for sure. I think that the long, the longevity of that line stemming from the movies is because the spy. Let's face it, the Raimi Spider-Man movies is what springboarded superhero movies to. Oh no doubt. Now. Because you had the Batman movies, which were okay, but they were just and camp. X-Men. But no one gave a fuck about X Men. I mean, X-Men, 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 yes, they they did. We we had an entire conversation about this on the channel. We did. We remember. did. But no one gave a fuck about the X Men. It was Spider Man, which was Springboard. I don't. But like that's that's where, in my opinion, it did because I don't remember the X Men as much as I remember. I think that's just where oh, no, the kids got in. Like yeah. I think X Men was probably bigger. We just weren't there for it. Yeah. I remember my uncle like. I mean, I watched. Loved them, but... the X Men movie. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And I'm like. I don't, I don't know what that is. I don't, yeah. <laughs> I don't care. Put on Spider Man. Yeah. Um, going back to uh, like enhancing the characters or villains, like uh, I brought this up to Aaron and I said it to you uh, when we were watching it, Mike. Why, I was like, why is Electro cool? <laughs> yeah, like, yeah. Why yeah, is he so cool? It's like, I, I thought total same uh, reaction to him. I was like, he doesn't even look anything like Max Dillon. And, and then they even bring that up. But, they, but the fact that they brought it up and, and addressed it, like Kirk Connors did, and I'm like, all right, it's fine now. Like, totally didn't care yeah. after that. Yeah, because like when he shows up, you're like, oh, he looks like... And then he's like, oh, he's like, you had a bad comb over and like a gap in your teeth or something like yeah. that. And he's like, yeah, well, fuck you. <laughs> like, yeah. And I was like, oh, cool. Yeah, but <laughs> like, like the point that I was getting at is... um. Like, even after, uh, elect- like, what happens to Electro in the Amazing Spider-Man movies, he isn't even, like, cool on that level. Like, he no. is, like, definitely more of a, like, not, you know, nerdy, you know, uh, how do you say, outcast character. Like, but he's not cool like he is in this movie. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I'm a, I'm of two minds of it. Which, like, I enjoyed the... the... I mean, I don't like. Like I said, I don't hate it. It, yeah. it just doesn't make sense to me because he's like pulled out before he's about to die in the Amazing Spider-Man universe, yeah. and then he's just like this like badass. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah. Speaking of, let's talk about that little uh, redemption closing arc to both Andrew and Electro, where they're misunderstanding. Like they mm. they both have like a a heart to heart. Where he's like, no, he's like, Max, like, you were never a nobody, like, and all that, like, and they, yeah. they yeah, kind of reconciled, and they're like, okay, it's cool, like, stuff no, that you fine. never knew you needed, you got yeah. the stuff, and yeah. once you heard it, you're like, oh, that's great, you yeah, know, like, yeah, but, like, there was just so much, like, closure in this movie, I was like, yeah, th- yeah, that was it, that was good. Oh, and what a, <laughs> what a nod to, uh, Miles Morales. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that was a little cringy, too, he's like, yeah, you're a kid from Queens. I just thought you would be black. It's like, okay, dude. <laughs> yeah, and then he goes, well, there's bound to be a black Spider-Man, I guess. And I was like, I was like waiting. I was like, is he, is he going to swing in? Is he going to swing in? Is Ned like, <laughs> portaling him in the next? What the fuck? Yeah. That, that was nice, like, the way that they did that, too, where, like, Ned's like, oh, he's like, uh, you know, my grandma says we have magic in our family, and then, like, he puts the sling ring on, he's, like, able to open the portal, and I was like, oh, fuck, I was like, do you know how, remember how long it took Strange to even open a portal? Yeah, Ned's a natural. Yeah, That's Ned's just true. like, well, he's true. also, like, a genius, too. Yeah. I mean, so is Doctor so Strange, don't get me wrong. He was a... Uh, third. <laughs> yeah, I, I think I think the reason why it took Steven so much longer, which we could go into this all day, but it's just because of his arrogance. Oh yeah, yeah. my He's brain. An asshole. Like when it first, like when it first, they first started to do it, I it wasn't hitting me. I was like, oh okay, 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 and then it started to happen. And I was like. And then it clicked, and then I just brain melted. I was like, "Oh my god, here it is!" Like I'm shocked we got that much Spider Man. I think I said that to Sean in the group chat. I was like, "We got a lot more Spider Man than I ever thought we were gonna." Get. I thought it was just gonna be like, yeah, they're like fully in it. From yeah, the third back from yeah. the third act. I thought it was gonna be yeah, like Statue of Liberty. Through. Yeah, like halfway through all. Yeah. like yeah. and you two when we were watching it. It was either you or you that said when they 
open the portal, yeah. and they're well, like, Peter! Yeah, and Mike's like, bring me Peter Parker. As soon as it opened up, I'm like, that's not gonna be Tom yeah. Holland. I was like, I was like, I knew. But, but like, I looked, and I was like, because you said that, and I was like... It didn't look I was like, like him. I was like, yeah. I can't tell. Like, the eyes looked bigger, and I was like, mm. And then he starts running towards him, and I was like, that is way that's taller than fucking Tom Holland. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, oh my god! <laughs> I just love Andrew Garfield as Spider-Man. Because it's like, prove me you're Spider-Man. And he's like, he just jumps and like, <laughs> like, like, like and it's like, one handed. Yeah, he's, like, he's like, that's okay. not enough. He's like, this isn't enough. Can we get the spider webs up there? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I love, I love him as Spider-Man. Uh, he's an excellent Spider-Man. I mean, if they really decided just to reboot either the Tobey Maguire era Spider-Man or the Andrew Garfield Spider-Man, I don't think anybody would be upset about it. Mm-mm. Andrew Garfield would be a little bit easier because he's still younger. Well, that and Gwen's dead, so they don't have to bring back Emma Stone. Yeah. Like, all you need is is Andrew Garfield, really. Maybe, uh... (laughs) Fuck you. (laughs) Oh, God. No, no, no. And it's really what they take it all back. Huh? It's really what Disney Plus is for. Mm-hmm. It's for something yeah, that but, may not be but worth. But they're Sony properties. Yeah, these are still Sony yeah, true. Still Sony but properties. they still have a deal, don't they? Yeah, yeah but, but I don't see them. But even the Spider-Man movies aren't on Disney, Disney Plus. True. So uh, that that is a job I wasn't considering. That. Yeah. So we also get um, a nice little closing arc. Uh, well, a, a redemption of sorts and a closing arc between um, Toby stopping uh tom from killing goblin with his own glider uh mm. you know because, yeah, like because he because tom just becomes full of fucking rage and is ready to just murder uh i mean he, he should have activated an insta kill yeah, yeah they <laughs> missed so, opportunity <laughs> so he yeah so that he, wouldn't he was bring catharsis that he wanted no so like but there, there was that nice the nice little bit that toby said when they were on the top of the school where he's like oh he's like the guy who i thought killed my uncle ben i wanted him dead i got my wish it didn't make me feel any better so when it, he stopped tom from killing willem dafoe mm. like just that was nice where he's just like trying like he tries to redeem himself for allowing mm. himself to feel that much rage and allow somebody to die be- who didn't need to die yeah. simply because he was just filled with rage. I mean, same thing from from Andrew Garfield too, because he's like, I became enraged. Yeah, <clears throat> you know, I I stopped pulling my punches or whatever. Yeah. yeah, that really was like one of Tobey Maguire's best scenes too. Is like you could tell how good of an actor. Toby Maguire is, and I don't think he's not in enough anymore. He needs to be in more stuff. But just like the look in his eyes conveys so much to what he's trying to tell uh, Tom Holland Spider Man in that yeah. moment. He's, I had, almost, he's almost crying. Yeah. yeah. I had a thought last night uh, when we watched it that what if this is the movie like how The Last Jedi was for Mark Hamill, like to get him back into like acting, like Maybe. actually acting? Uh, because Mark Hamill wasn't—he was just a voice actor yeah. for so long. He between... did Flash. Yeah, yeah. but he, it was like he did like a little part here, a little part here, and then he did the Last Jedi and the Rise of Skywalker, and like it just like brought him back into the public eye, and like now he does a lot more stuff. Yeah, yeah. I don't know if Toby McGuire is that type of guy. He really seems like he's you know wants to keep things low key. Yeah, but mm. uh, we didn't mention uh. Uh, Alfred Molina, well, Doc Ock, whenever they are, like, curing him. Hmm. So, like, we brought it up briefly earlier. Uh, Peter takes them to, like, a lab to, like, cure them all so that they could get sent back to their times without being killed instantly. And they cure, they, like, reinstate the inhibitor chip, essentially. Hmm. Yeah, and then, because, like, Alfred Molina is just, like, so like pissed the entire time he's like <laughs> i've had it with you and then as soon as the chip like the chip gets just, put on he's just like oh <laughs> like overwhelmed with like he's just like so relieved his sanity is just yeah yeah just immediately like... like back and then uh you think for a second that uh maybe he was broken again because goblin basically convinced... fucking awesome. <laughs> goblin convinces him basically convinces uh max dylan it's like we're gods we don't need to you know and it's like we don't we don't care what anybody else says and uh he rips uh the thing off that was inhibiting his electricity he's like i liked you before and he like shoots him yeah. with the electricity you're like oh shit he's gonna be bad again but uh yeah, yeah. 
Yeah. Uh, during the final fight, uh, he comes up and like grabs Andrew and Toby, and uh, Max is like, "I don't need your help." And then he just goes and grabs the arc reactor yeah, on yeah. his chest, that was fucking awesome. <laughs> and then he just like uh, pulls it off and puts the inhibitor on him, and he's like, still a good guy. Which yeah. was that was awesome. Which yeah, yeah that, that was a pretty sweet thing where he comes up and he's like, no, they're mine. And, like grabs him and they go, he grabs him. And I'm like fuck yeah, <laughs> like that that piggybacks on Ock because Ock was never really a bad no, guy. No, he was no, never. No. A, I mean, he's a villain, but he's not a bad. I guy. mean, I was always fully working under the assumption that he was being corrupted by the yeah, no, yeah, yeah, oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> by the tentacle. Which I get. Like a lot of people didn't like that version. Of I, think it's, Ock. I think it's. I think it's great. Yeah, it really is because he's a more. He's a more complicated character yeah. because you're like, you're you're partially rooting for him because yeah. you're like this isn't his fault. Like yeah, you he, want you he want he his humanity to win yeah. over yeah over the tentacles. I just yeah. feel like we're missing so much shit. <laughs> oh, I, the, the, the movie, thing, the movie yeah. is so fucking much. It's so chock hard. full of it, yeah. but I think it's just a testament to how quality it is. Is that like there's so much, but and you could miss a ton of stuff that oh, yeah. just. How good and how well managed it is, and what they've they've learned from their mistakes, or I guess adding Marvel to the mix has really like created a very nice like even keel movie that they can sustainably keep everything in and it still be quality. This movie was back in twenty eighteen when they did Spider Verse and it was a huge hit. Mm -hmm. Like it made me it made me think and. Of course, like they plotted all this out way before him, but it made me think like they went, hmm, now can we do this live action? And that make it well, I mean that that, that has to be the origin. Yeah, yeah. yeah. really. And then I, I mean I, the and, response to the movie alone probably. I, that's what greenlit this movie to be what it was. I'm sure. Yeah, and ev everybody thinking that um, oh, what is his name? The 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 older Peter, Peter B. Yeah, and Peter B. Parker, um, or just the original Peter Parker that was the one that helped by Chris Pine, um, the one that gets killed. I come on, man. I, I spoil it. Oh, sorry for a 2017 <laughs> movie. It's 2018. Whatever. We're not spoiling that movie. Really. <laughs> <laughs> it's only four years old. We apologize. <laughs> which, which one is it that everybody was like, "Oh, that's Toby's Peter." I don't. Chris Pine. Yeah. Because he, he does the dance. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. The one that dies. I just thought it was. And he stops the train. Yeah, yeah. He does right. the train. That's what I thought I'd get. Yeah. Um, I forget where I was going with that. <laughs> but um, I, I think it was it was the reaction to that. Yeah. That that made people think. Oh. I mean, it's it's the it's the twenty year nostalgia rule, isn't it? Yeah. I mean, it's been twenty years roughly since the original movies came yeah. out. So all of kids are now adults. We yeah. want to see that shit. It's uh, it's Stranger Things all over again. Yeah. Just our era of it. Yeah. No, yeah. honestly, it is like and uh, like like I said, this movie was just. Mm, mm. I need to watch it again. So um, oh, yeah. let's touch on the conclusion of the film. Right. Yeah. So. Everyone uh, dies. To, yeah, everyone dies. Everyone's dead. Uh, so, and I just snaps again. Goblin yeah. destroys the box that contained the corrupted spell that was keeping the universe intact, essentially. But how do you bomb. do that? How do you do that, by the way? What? He just, like, planted the bomb in it. Yeah, yeah. but, like, it looked like it shouldn't, like, fit in there. Like, you just had to, like, <laughs> like jam it in there. He's well, clearly he's strong. strong. Yeah, 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 super strong. <laughs> <laughs> Either. Why is it in In any case. So the a bomb goes off, releasing the corrupted spell, basically destroying the fabric of the universe. Doctor Strange is like trying everything he can to like stop it because he's like every possible like in the multiverse, every person, every creature that knows who Peter Parker is is being drawn into our universe. And we did see some familiar faces. I, I was, I was yeah. gonna say I keep trying to, to see them. The only ones that I noticed were Rhino and Scorpion. I saw Craven. Yeah. There were some somebody... I did see Rhino too. Hmm. And maybe it was Craven. I don't know exactly like I kinda know what he looks like. There was some dude standing with a spear yeah. and I was like, yeah. that's Craven. Is that yeah. Craven? It has to be Craven. Because that's that's one that I noticed. And I, I actually saw two different rhinos. Oh yeah? There Paul was... Giamatti Rhino and regular <laughs> I, Rhino. Well I think it was. was. Yeah, well, like, it, it probably was. Yeah. yeah. That both of them do exist. Yeah. yeah. Like it, it, like everyone that knows Peter Parker in the multiverse is going to come. Right. But so. Or wait, no, wasn't it everyone who knows Spider Man? 
No, it was Peter, Peter sure Parker. Peter, oh, yeah, you're right. It was Spider-Man. Yeah, because, because that was because the original, the original spell, spell was Spider-Man. everyone who knows Peter Parker. No, everyone who knows Spider-Man forgets that Peter Parker is Spider-Man. That was the original spell. So it needs to be counteracted with everybody forgets who Peter Parker is. Right, right. And then they won't be drawn. Right. So, uh, essentially, um, Doctor Strange is like, are you sure you want to do this? Because, like, everybody who knows you, like, they, like y- you're basically going to be alone at this point. Yeah. And he's like, well, it, I have to because the universe is going to get fucking imploded if I don't. So, Doctor Strange casts a spell. He says his goodbyes to Ned and MJ. And then everybody forgets who Peter Parker is, and the world is saved, essentially. And all of the existing characters from opposite universes are being sent back into their universes after being cured. So, my question is, I have a few questions. My question is, what happens to those universes now that they're, like, they've been sent back and they are no longer villains, per se? Like, Norman still gets impaled, because that's what he got. (laughs) <laughs> I mean, we don't know when he got taken out. Right. But Or does he show up and he's like, hey, Peter, like, it's me. I was under the control of the goblin. Like, yeah, I'm good now. Yeah. yeah. Like, does that universe just kind of like, and he's like, oh, okay. Go hang out with your son. <laughs> don't be such an asshole. Yeah. Like, and did, also, did he repair that yeah. relationship with Harry? And so, like, everything theoretically, great? theoretically, Max Dillon doesn't, you know, die. And then it, if Harry shows up, they could defeat him and Gwen won't die yeah so like 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 there's a lot of uh th- there's a lot to unpack well that's his access point yeah. yeah well you never know this is the type of stuff that could be explored in a tv show yeah. well, how, how about the biggest question is it mephisto <laughs> 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 we're, 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 we're forgetting about one villain that got sent back to their timeline after the fact uh, no, no, we are. Who? Eddie Brock. Oh, that's right. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Well, well, that's an incredible scene. We'll get there. Yeah, but because that sets up something pretty significant too. But um, so uh, the second question I have is, um, so ha- they allude to it a little bit because uh, Peter goes to visit May's grave and Happy shows up and he's like, "How did you know her?" And he's like, "Oh, through Spider Man." And he's like, "Me too." So he's still Spider-Man. Yeah. So he could be like, I'm Spider-Man. Yeah. Like, what, yeah, what happened? That, that confused me because, like... It, oh, yeah, it's all confused. And also, so... I'm sorry for stepping on sorry. what you were saying, but... MJ and Ned are still, like, at the base of the Statue of Liberty. Like, they have to have a memory of them helping Spider-Man. Yeah. yeah. So if Peter just goes up and he's like, hey, I'm Spider-Man, by the way... Like, 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 oh no way! I like, just helped you last night. Yeah, like, 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 I'm, I'm, like, what happens to their memories? It's like such a can of worms that, yeah, it's, it's kind I of just like, it's just kind of like, just everybody forgets, forget about it, Go, like, move on. Yeah. Like, it, it's, I don't know, it, 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 I think it needs to be parsed through a little bit. Well, isn't that what he was going to try to do when he met them in the coffee shop? As he was, she, he was going to hand her that big thing that yeah. explained what was what was going on, and then he let them interact with each other, and then he kind of like reserved himself to the fact that they're going to go ahead and live their own lives. Well, MIT. I think the thing that really pushed him to not do it was that he saw MJ's bruise on her head, and he's yeah. like, "Oh, if I." link them up with spider-man again they're i'm just like he opening up yeah I'm, I'm, yeah, yeah i'm putting you in danger so i'm just gonna like for your, the, your safety i'm just mm-hmm. gonna Pro- probably thinking of uh gwen stacy really yeah really yeah pretty much it's a similar arc to what peter did in the first uh peter and toby peter did in uh, the first spider-man he's <laughs> like oh i can't love mary jane i can't marry mary jane because she's gonna get hurt you know we've got toby peter we've got Tom Peters, we've got Evan <laughs> Peters. <laughs> oh no! Uh oh! That's, that's another whole thing. Quick silver. That, yeah, I'm telling you, that was a catalyst. That was that was the tip of the iceberg. Like, oh, oh, look! Oh, yeah, and then was... and then they're like, no, just kidding. I mean, and then they run some Loki alone, but but yeah. So I don't know. Um. So where do we think that they're gonna go? In my own. Well, clearly that, but like, I don't, I really don't, 
have any idea where they might take the story. Raven's last hunt. So please, I do believe that eventually MJ and Ned are going to like like the people closest to Peter. I believe that I do believe that they'll have their memories restored. Yeah, like I think that Doctor Strange and uh, and MJ and Ned and Happy. I think that they'll all have their memories restored. And uh, this is one way that I think that that might happen. So whenever Doctor Strange is about to cast a spell, Wong is leaving and he's just like, just leave me out of it. So maybe whenever he was casting the spell, he left, like, deliberately left mm. Wong out of the oh, spell. Yeah. Maybe. So, like, everybody forgets who Spider-Man is, except for Wong. Right. And same thing with Peter. I thought that maybe... Part of me thought that maybe Strange was going to, like, everyone forgets who Peter Parker is, like, and he was maybe, like, since Peter wasn't going to be fucking up the spell while he was casting it, that maybe Strange was like, you know what, there is a way I can do this, that just the two of them will know. Mm. And I thought for a moment that that was going to happen, but I'm glad it didn't. But I, I thought mean, that we... maybe he was going to be like, okay, like, I can do this where... Just those two know that yeah. Peter is Spider-Man. We even saw that, which I love this uh, visual, like, imagery, like, storytelling. Whenever he's, like, casting the spell the first time, and Peter goes, oh, Ned! And he's like, who's, what's a Ned? And he pulls, like, the word Ned out of the spell. Oh, really? Like, did you see that? Yeah. I, I saw yeah. something. Yeah. I didn't like, notice. Like, he pulls the word Ned out of the spell and throws it down. And he's like, Ned's my best friend. And then he's like, he's got to remember. He's like, okay. And he puts it back in the spell so that he, like would remember hmm. like i like I, that was so cool to see just like also dr strange is really growing on me as a character oh yeah like he, i didn't give a yeah. fuck about dr strange I didn't when he either. first came in and i'm like he's one of my favorite characters now i mean i, I it I'm started awesome. with like end game like end or, game or, yeah or infinity, infinity war. war end game but like what if yeah. and uh yeah. this movie i'm like yeah dr strange is one of my favorite characters now. yeah i'm so ready for multiverse of madness yeah <laughs> yeah which was the second end credit scene, just a trailer, which looked great, yeah. by the way. How uh, how many more appearances do we get out of uh, Tom Holland as Spider-Man? Because apparently they said they're doing three another. Well, trilogy. no, Kevin Feige came out and said that that isn't true. Oh, well, maybe well, Sony's doing a trilogy with him. I don't know. Yeah, you've that argument with somebody. I don't trust. They said comes out of no. Feige's they they did confirm Amy Pascal's. I don't know. Well, I don't know. It just makes me think that didn't Tom Holland say something along the lines of he doesn't want to be doing Spider Man by the time he's 30 and he's like 25 now? So, like. He just said that. I don't know. I think he's just blowing smoke, really. <laughs> yeah. I think a lot of it is blowing smoke. Yeah. But, uh, so you mentioned it briefly earlier the after credit scene, which is a, it's inherently just a gag because yeah. it's Eddie Brock from the Venom universe being pulled into. The MCU and like being being Eddie Brock, drunk, completely useless, <laughs> and he's just like getting like all the information about Thanos and the Avengers and everything, and then he's like, "Oh, we're drunk. We need to go we'll skinny dipping. dipping." And he's like, "No, we can't." And he's like, "Hey, you've got to pay for that." And then obviously the spell has happened, and he he gets like taken away, and uh, you got to pay for that. Phases out of existence. <laughs> Uh, but gone. a small piece of symbiote is left on the counter, implying, obviously, that we're going to get Venom symbiote Spider-Man. <laughs> My question is, who do you think is going to get it? Because I was going to say, Black. as much as I hate the idea of this universe's Flash being Venom, I really think that it might be Flash. Yeah, I, and I think, I mean, that was from the beginning. I think Tony Avoli is his name? Tony Avoli? I think, like, he being casted in that role is always kind of an indicator that they were probably going to do something with him, because he's, like, a he's a pretty good actor. Yeah, I and especially, like, the miniature conflict that is his arc throughout the movie, where he, mm -hmm. like, he basically publishes a book about being bad called, friends called with Flashpoint. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, which is... And, you know, just I the... can't believe, but like that, that's not copywritten. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, yeah, so he's like pretending to be Peter's best friend, and I wonder how that's going to affect his life now because nobody knows who Peter Parker is. Also, why the fuck is he still in high school? Well, he's not. He's admitted into MIT at the end of, the, or by the midpoint of the film. But not anymore. Yeah, I mean, he still is. He would still be admitted. Him, 
MJ he had a GED had... book at the end. Of oh, the you're talking about Peter. I'm yeah. Sorry. Yeah. I don't know. But like, okay, you blipped for five years, right? Don't you get a fucking free pass? No. They're no. like, oh, it's senior year. It's like, no, they, are you kidding me? They, 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 they said that in, yeah. far, in far I know. I know. But it's continued right on. Like, you know? Yeah. I mean, just because you are gone for five years doesn't mean, like, your education is also gone. You've got to, like... <laughs> Maybe that was part of the thing that was split. Yeah, <laughs> no, know. like, they they were... Free education for everyone. <laughs> <laughs> they, they weren't out of existence and, like, just floating around for five years. Like, it's instantaneous yeah. from their perspective. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, that's... I think that we've done a significant... Uh, a sufficient job of uh, talking about <laughs> as dense a film as this is. Yeah, I mean, I mean, I'm sure we could go on for hours. Sure, yeah, yeah. Sure, there's but... hundreds of things we could still touch on, but do we have a rank? Yes, <laughs> I have a rank. I do. do I, 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 it's probably just because I just saw it, but I think this is probably the best Spider-Man live-action Spider-Man we've ever got. Right now, this is my favorite. And that's saying a lot, because I, I, I hold Spider-Man 1 and 2 very close to my heart. Yeah, me too. Yeah. And that, like, this, I got that yeah. back from this. I, was, yeah. I yeah. mean, yeah. so so this is one thing that I did want to touch on. I feel like the existence of this movie improves, it's kind of like a retroactive Im- improvement of the Amazing Spider-Man movies, Which right? Is, yeah. Because it, like, it's a little bit more fleshing out of Andrew Garfield as a character. But I don't know necessarily if it improves the quality of the original Spider-Man trilogy. Like, I don't know how much you could do to really I think they stand that. on their own. Yeah, I think that they're, yeah, just as they are. I, I guess the thing that makes this the most surreal for me is that this movie now makes all five of those movies canon. Yeah. Yeah. Which is just incredible to me. I mean, that it retroactively it, canonized. I mean, in, in all aspects, it makes all everything. Yeah, everything. Hey. Canon. Like it makes all the X Men movies. Fantastic canon. Four. Yeah, it, it, technically. Yeah. Because the multiverse. Yeah. yeah. Well, technically, technically. Yeah, yes. I understand. But we. Yeah, but it's deliberately. Legitimized. Yeah, deliberately yeah. those uh, other five films. Yeah, I, I, I understand what you're saying. Which now somebody could just like in their like DVD or Blu-ray, they could just be like stick the spider-man like all five of them right before like right, right in between like avengers and iron man yeah. and there they are not to uh to bitch about star wars but like how well they build a universe uh because they with, actually plan yeah yeah just by so what the execution of a plan that they are that they are doing is really just something to see yeah i don't think there's like i don't want to be a marvel fanboy but like how many more instances of this are there that... there is yeah how many you're, you're never going to actually replicate this no. ever we will be dead and gone the human race will be dead and gone and never have touched what they did well like with the exception of this and i i guess i would say the only other one that i'm really excited for is doctor strange and Thor, like, like where I don't know where they go after this because like I bear I'm barely holding on to like super excitement. I mean, Eternals was pretty good. I enjoyed it, but like, do you think that Kevin Feige gets drunk at parties and he's like, oh, when we started writing out the MCU, I was like, we're bringing Toby and Andrew in. <laughs> like, do you think he just like bullshits his way through <laughs> shit? It's like that was all planned. Yeah. I don't know. Like, in a hundred years from now, everybody that, you know, cared about all this shit is dead and gone. Do you think in film classes they go back and, like, study that what the they're doing right now? The cinematic universe? I mean, Absolutely. Not this yet. was a... It's literally defined the landscape of movies for the past decade. Yeah. I, like, I feel like this is going to be, like... Like, <laughs> this is literally, like, the playbook, <laughs> you know? Mm-hmm. Like, you have to make good movies first. Yeah. Right. Yeah. So, like, that's the problem with DC is like they tried to do what Marvel did without earning it. They just mm-hmm. tried to do it. They tried. Like, to you have to around. you have to make good movies first, and then you can like say, "Oh yeah, by the way, these are connected." Like, if you just like make good movies, and then you're like, "Okay, these could be connected," and then your ultimate plan is, "Yeah, why don't we just merge them all together?" Then it's deserved and earned. But yeah. you know, that's because like that wasn't their original plan. Like, after making Iron Man, they weren't like, we're gonna 
make all these cool movies. It might have been part of the plan. I think at, like I think it was they, part they of brought the plan on Hulk came out right after Iron Man. Um, maybe. I, I think that I, the, I, there was a loose plan in place yeah. that they were going to try to There was an build. idea. Yeah. They were going to try to build the Avengers. Cause, try. Because, like, Nick, the, the Nick Fury get. were putting together the Avengers initiative. That was, like, a afterthought. Mm. And then I think that, like, with this immense success of Iron Man, and then they're like, oh, this Hulk movie's coming out, and, like, we're making that, too. Why don't we try and bridge those together? And then they had an after credit scene with Tony in it. And then after that, it, like... It had moderate success. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, but Which it was... why it's not on Asian yeah, services. Right. So, like, with that moderate success, they're like, okay, maybe we can actually do something here. And then that's kind of where it sprung up. And clearly, it stood the test of at least, what, 15 years old. Well, almost. that's what happens when you plan your movies out. Like, do these creators get in, like, that tier of, like, George Lucas? Kevin Feige, at least. Yeah. I mean, John Favreau and Kevin Feige, I think, yeah. certainly. Yeah, because John Favreau helped spearhead this. Mm. Yeah. Um, and he's still with it. Yeah, this has nothing 12 to... years later. I mean, this has nothing to do with, like, the MCU, but I would like to, in, like, 10 years, see a documentary about the Star Wars sequel trilogy. And like, and how like a documentary of how like, just a shit show it was. Yeah, yeah. They're like, oh, they fucked up three movies over the course of like, yeah, however many years. It was like what six years or yeah, something like that. Years. Yeah. Meanwhile, Marvel Studios managed to build this fucking empire of yeah. twenty plus movies <laughs> with no little to no hiccups. Or I mean, stinkers. yeah, there's stinkers in there. There are. Yeah. I feel there, like, there are, but they're forgivable stinkers. It's yeah. like, oh, okay, it wasn't as There's good like as this, one, but it's one or so, two. Yeah. Like, uh, I would say probably Ant Man is one that's forgivable Ant-Man and to the me. Wasp, yeah. No, I remember more about Ant Man and the Wasp than I do about it. You think Ant Man is forgivable? I do. I think his movies I aren't, love aren't movie. as good I think as some of the other ones, but. <laughs> Thor. Thor 2. <laughs> Thor 2. Thor 2 is also... I, I would mark that as the worst. And, I to this day, I have I've never seen. watched Thor 2 through its entirety. I've Me fallen asleep every single time I I fell asleep it. in a theater. I haven't went back and even tried. It's bad. It's bad. And it's really it's really sad because Christopher Eccleston is the uh, bad guy. Yeah. The first Thor <laughs> yeah, is really I love good. Doctor Who. <laughs> yeah, the first Thor is really good. Third Thor is really good. Yeah. The second one sucks ass. Yeah. Anyway. Back to Spider Man. <laughs> Can we get off track? Rating time. Yeah. Oh yes, yeah. we gotta do that. <laughs> well, I uh, I hesitate to give it a ten because I'm not sure if it's quite that level. I don't, come on ten. Yeah, that's my. I'll, 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 I, I'm <laughs> I'm giving it a solid nine out of ten. I don't know if I get awarded the ten yet. I'm I have to see it again for sure. I'm echoing the nine. Yeah. I'm going to go 9.5, only because we didn't get a scene where Toby was asked to pay rent. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I'm not, uh, not going to be like, oh, I need to buy educated. No, fuck it, dude. 10. Yeah, it's great. It was <laughs> exactly. incredible. It's the it first, was, this is the first 10 out of 10. It was really like... Did, did I true. give it a 10 out of 10 out for Back to the Future? It was what Maybe. I wanted out of it, I gave and it I can't say time. that I'm disappointed with what I got. Oh, no. There's... Well, I, I, I have, like, what we began the spoiler discussion of. I, I do have major problems with that character, like, the Aunt May stuff. That, like, that is the only detracting thing for the movie from me. I, I, I do have, like, serious, like, because the character has already been through that arc. Like, he doesn't need to be reminded of it. I'm but... sure I could go back and find something I don't like. But I don't know. That's a, right now, I'm, I'm sitting at a solid ass 10. Like, yeah. I, I'm gonna see it again. That's, that's for sure. No. <laughs> it, it's it's we, certainly the best no or the uh, home Spider-Man movies. Yeah, it's the best Spider-Man three. Yes, yeah, that's true. <laughs> Undoubtedly, the best. Uh, well, this well, is one technically of Toby's. Exist, this is technically Toby's Spider-Man four, and this is yeah, Andrew Garfield's is... Spider-Man three. Yeah, so we actually got a closing of the trilogy and a closing of the fourth movie. The only thing, and the other thing was Vulture. <laughs> Oh yeah, and John Malkovich in there as Vulture. Yeah, so can you imagine if Vulture was in with these villains? I thought no, that they were going to do a Sinister Six type of thing, but I like what they did more. Oh yeah, I like what they did way more. Yeah, with Michael Keaton being 
on the same. Well, he would have been awesome. Guys. He's, oh my God. He's, no, he gets Morbius. That movie's going to be a fucking mess. <laughs> well, that begs the question. So he is an MCU character that gets taken into the other universe. Like, what the fuck happens there? Yeah, I'm so confused now. Well, I, I mean, guess we'll have to wait until Morbius to see. Well, no, no. It's like it's, it's it, like the characters are disappearing and somebody's like, no! And, like, grabs him and pulls him in with him. Or does this take... Is this a Sony thing that takes place in the MCU universe, but it's not a Marvel Studios movie? I mean, that... Like, 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 like is this the... Is this the take to their give like where they're like okay but let's have a movie that we made set in your universe now i don't know we'll see that could be i don't know because there are those like in the morbius trailer there's spider-man things that say murderer on it Mm -hmm. and they look like Tobey Maguire. they do but could it just be a generic spider-man it could be that they're just like painting that picture but now but now that Tobey Maguire came back or (laughs) is it edited in the trailer to not look like any of them because they don't want to spoil just yet what universe. It just seems like setting. it's a mix of everything. I don't know. It just looks like a mess to me. I don't think it's going to be good. I want to talk about the trailer. Because they did whoop de wapas in the trailer. Wong and Strange's mm-hmm. interaction. Oh, in I was going to bring that up. Where yeah. he's like, don't cast that spell. Yeah. And he's like, okay, I won't. And they like winks at Peter. That never happens in but the that, movie. But that line is used in, in the, the second trailer. post-credit scene, which is just the trailer for mm-hmm. Doctor Strange. Yeah. That line is said in that trailer. Yeah. And it almost appears that there's an evil Doctor Strange in that movie. Hmm. Uh, where have we seen... Where, me, where could that have come Give from? me evil Doctor Strange from what is. Dude. It looks like that. I'll eat that that. Was, that's still one of my favorite what if. I'll eat oh, yeah. words on a plate served to me by uh, saying that they weren't going to put any what if type elements into the... Uh... <laughs> <laughs> the hey, it's shit. not confirmed yet. We'll have to wait and see. I mean, it, it might not be for, for the egg on your face. <laughs> <laughs> it might not be um, specifically yeah. the one from What yeah. If. Well, but it's gonna be. Please one. be that one, please. <laughs> All right, guys, that was our fun, lengthy spoiler discussion of Spider-Man: No Way Home. Intense spoiler discussion. Yeah, <laughs> thanks for having me. Yeah, thank you for coming on. Thank yeah, you for I, watching. I got to say real quick, you were on WandaVision, and now you were on Spider-Man. So clearly, the multiverse needs you. <laughs> well, <laughs> I have the power! <laughs> we didn't end up doing a Loki discussion uh, that no. he could have been on. But, but, but we'll have to have the for Doctor they, they said that the, the three-story arc was WandaVision, Spider-Man, and Doctor Strange, so I, I just thought it was funny that you were on this one and one division. Yeah, see in Doctor Strange. <laughs> Until then, we're not talking to you. Yeah, <laughs> yeah all right. that's fair. That's fair. See yeah. you in March yeah. or whatever that March. March. Well, yeah. Close shit. It'll be here before you know. Try not to die in a car crash or something yeah. between now and then. All right. Thank you. Is that a Doctor Strange reference? <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for watching and listening. Share, comment, like, subscribe, everything else. Hate mail. Hate mail, yeah. Send us some hate mail. We'd love that. Bring it on. Yeah. Tell us why you hated this movie. <laughs> so that we can tell you you're wrong. All right. I'll argue you in the comments. I mean, let's do it, Luke. Let's brawl. All right. Kiss you later, everybody. Bye.